Thank you. All right, take, uh, no, no, number one. Uh, here is Bernard McGurk now with uh, this Brian Williams story, which, I'm, b b which uh, Bernard is going to present to us. And then I want you all to weigh in on it, Bernie. All right. So just to appreciate how jaw-droppingly dishonest uh, and dishonorable this guy was, you have to. Uh, I have to play this tape. Yeah, this is fine. Last Take Friday, your time. last Friday on the nightly news. Well, let's see. Thursday night they had a Ranger game that Brian Williams had uh, something set up during the Ranger game where he was supposedly honoring a veteran who protected him while he was in Iraq, and uh, they ran it Friday night on the NBC newscast. Take a listen to it. We want to share with you a great moment that took place here in New York last night. The story actually started with a terrible moment a dozen years back during the invasion of Iraq, when the helicopter we were traveling in was forced down after being hit by an RPG. Our traveling NBC News team was rescued, surrounded, and kept alive by an armored mechanized platoon from the U.S. Army 3rd Infantry. Command Sergeant Major Tim Turpak was put in charge of our safety. He just retired after 24 years in the Army. So last night, I invited him to see the Rangers-Canadiens game at Madison Square Garden. It was merely a chance to be reunited, but the Rangers had other plans, as Tim realized when we looked up and saw our picture on the big screen. Ladies and gentlemen, during the Iraq invasion, U.S. Army Command Sergeant Major Tim Turpak was responsible for the safety of Brian Williams and his NBC News team after their Chinook helicopter was hit and crippled by enemy fire. Of course, uh, the, the helicopter was never hit by enemy fire no. or crippled, and the whole thing was set up, arranged by NBC and Brian Williams to make Brian Williams look good. It was all about Williams. It wasn't no. about Tim Turpak at all. So they posted that particular uh, video on Facebook, NBC did, and the guy who was on the aircraft that was shot down, he posted a response. Uh, this guy, Lance Reynolds, sorry, dude, I don't remember you being on my aircraft. I do remember you walking up about an hour after we had landed to ask me what had happened. And the guy who actually flew the Lion, Lion Williams here, the cheater, uh, uh, his chopper, Chris Simone, such a liar. I was the pilot in command of the, the Chinook 47 flying Brian Williams into Iraq during the invasion. <clears throat> Excuse me. He was on my aircraft, and we were not shot down. And then, of course, Stars and Stripes uh, News, the, the people in the aviation regiment, the NBC anchor was nowhere near that aircraft or the two other Chinooks flying in the formation that took fire. Williams arrived in the area about an hour later on another helicopter. So last night, Brian Williams actually uh, corrected himself and then offered what some say was not an apology. Take a listen. On this broadcast last week, I made a mistake in recalling the events of 12 years ago. It did not take long to hear from some brave men and women in the air crews who were also in that desert. I want to apologize. I said I was traveling in an aircraft that was hit by RPG fire. I was instead in a following aircraft. <laughs> this was a bungled attempt by me to thank one special veteran and by extension, our brave military men and women, veterans everywhere, those who have served while I did not, I hope they know they have my greatest respect and also now my apology. He is a lying coward. He's been telling this story for 12 years. He, said, he repeated last night he was in a following aircraft, not that he arrived an hour later, right. way after the fact. Right. Yeah. And, of course, in, in the New York Daily News, uh, Don Kaplan writes, as I said earlier, to be clear, Williams, who presides over one of the most watched evening newscasts on the planet did not admit that he had lied he simply apologized for making a mistake a mistake but listen to him on david letterman about a year and a half ago right. telling the same uh, lie the whopper to david letterman we were the northernmost americans in iraq uh two of our four helicopters were hit by ground fire including the one i was in no kidding uh, rpg and, and ak-47 what happens the minute everybody realizes you've been hit uh we figure out how to land safely and we did Oh my God! Unbelievable. But here's the, here's what the most agree. Well, he's, I've said for years, and people thought, well, I was pissed off at NBC. No, I wasn't, and I am not. He's he's not going to win any profiles and courage because he's fundamentally a coward. You could punch him in the mouth, which I'd be happy to do, by the way, and he would not hit you back because he's a coward. But number two, he it's insane that he misspoke in an effort to just honor this guy. At the garden is is is, is not uh, true. No. 
He and NBC News have been telling the story for 12 years. He's been writing on NBC News blogs about it. And, oh, my uh, God. Going on talk shows, as you said, and it's it's stolen valor. You can get arrested. If, if you impersonate a soldier, say you were in combat, oh. you can actually get arrested and charged and put in jail for doing just what he did. Tell me what you think, Alan Holmes. I can not remember whether or not you're in a plane that gets hit. I, I can you not remember you that? Remember and remember getting punched in the face in, in, uh, in the fourth grade. And to say you make a mistake, a mistake is wearing the wrong pair of socks with the wrong belt. That's a mistake. A no. mistake isn't, yeah. I got hit in the plane. I mean, it's, no, it's I, just, this is a deliberate lie over and over. Now, if I was a military member, I was at that game on Thursday against no. the Canadians covering for ABC, and we all did like a USA chant afterwards because I actually thought that was a true story. No. Like, I was proud for a moment there. But if you're in the military, you are infuriated right now because he's using you. As, uh, like, uh, that's the worst way to, to don't say, oh, you're giving me honor by doing this. We do enough on our own as a military member. We don't need you, Brian Williams, lying about something yeah. for what, us. What do you think, Jennifer? Oh, he's reprehensible. He's disgusting. And like you said earlier, you compared him to Blumenthal from Connecticut. Exactly. And that, that, that man's disgusting also yeah. and a liar. He lied. He claimed so. he was in Vietnam several times, and the state of Connecticut still elected him to the Senate. What's up with NBC? You got Matt Lauer. You got Al Roker. You got Brian Williams. What is going on over there with these guys? Well, and these, Al got Sharpton. Sharpton. Yeah, Sharpton. Yeah, I mean, it <laughs> doesn't, get, going on over it doesn't there? get any worse in life than Sharpton. All right, 16 till we are here on the I Miss Morning Program. We're